I, th- I think you have to think about the foundations of what we're talking about. What's, what's so special about life? Okay. Why are we making life such um, a, a marvelous property? Agree. I agree it's extraordinary. I agree that through evolution, uh, life, once it had emerged from the inorganic, has led to our current consciousness and who knows mm. what in, in the future. But uh, why is it so special uh, Is it about somehow it? slightly, uh, yes, uh, in a sense, uh, uh, a bit egotistic of us to, to somehow... Yes, it's, it's cosmo-egotistical, okay. I, I think. So uh, uh, life is a jolly nice property of matter. But apart from that, why put it well, on let's, a pedestal? Let's start bringing up some of these. God seems to have preferred rocks to humans. So are we actually, is the universe actually fine-tuned for, for rocks? Well, if you don't have a lot of rocks, you're not going to get humans. I mean, the, the, the total size of the universe must be extraordinarily fine-tuned to get life anywhere in the universe. So it must have a lot of rocks in order for life to be possible, uh, given the laws of physics. And you men- mentioned the multiverse. All multiverse models are subject to the space-time theorem, so you don't avoid the causality issue. And I notice you quote Leonard Susskind. I mean, he's an atheist like yourself, but he wrote a paper basically saying we have to avoid as atheists the multiverse hypothesis. The reason why, it explains everything. And a model that explains everything explains nothing. Like God. Well, let me continue because you'll see an analogy in the crater and the cosmos is if you're going to hypothesize a multiverse, you're going to have an infinite number of planets like Earth. You're going to have an infinite number of trees. You're going to have birch trees. Birch trees peel white sheets of bark. Uh, you're going to have an infinite, with an infinite variety of universes. You're going to have birch trees that uh, peel uh, pieces of bark that are the size of A4 paper. They're going to fall on soil that's got random uh, you know, chemicals in it that make markings on it, which means that all the papers published by all the scientists in the world didn't come from their minds. They came from the multiverse. The multiverse did it. I've never it, heard such nonsense. Well, but the, well, the point he's making, I think, is, is, is that in a, in a multiverse where everything that can happen will happen, it, it, you've got everything sort no, of is... No, 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 I no. Mean, you see, I, I told you in, to in be the, very cautious in your use of the term. It could be that all those other billions, trillions, what, quadrillions of universes are, have no life in. Well, Agreed, well, but if you're going to appeal to an actual infinity, you're actually going to wind up with an infinite number that have life in it. Yeah, 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 that's quite possible. I mean, and that's, if, that was if my we're talking point. about... I'd literally explain I mean, I mean the, 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 the strange sort but, of... Sorry, but, the, sorry, you accuse me of having a theory which explains everything. And you're sitting there proposing that God can do absolutely everything. So why can't I say that God is nonsense, as much nonsense as my nonsense is? Well, because, <laughs> you know, God's got a mind. And no, every- he hasn't. He's outside <laughs> space and time. He doesn't have a mind. He's not some sort of figure with a brain but and I a think, mind. You know, you had an Anglican background. I mean, in Anglican theology, there's this idea that everything we see in the universe testifies that there's a mind behind it. I mean, where did our mind come from? It our came from evolution. Well, there, there again, you're violating the principle of cause and effect in the sense you're no, trying... No, not. Yeah, well, you are in this sense. Everything we measure in science tells us that you get the lesser from the greater, no, not the nonsense. other way around. That is nonsense, absolute nonsense. For more conversations between Christians and skeptics, subscribe to the Unbelievable podcast. And for more updates and bonus content, sign up to the Unbelievable newsletter.